overwhelming sometimes. And I just felt like the Lord was saying the most important thing when we're responding to people, when we're responding out of love, right? One of our uh, part of our mission statement here is to love people is just being a faithful witness that we're called to be faithful to God no matter what happens that we need to be faithful witnesses and the book of Revelation which speaks about the end time is is very very focused on this in fact uh, what I would say is this is the central verse of um, the book of Revelation and then it's found in Revelation 12, 11. It says, They triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. So just that first part, the only way we're going to triumph over the world, the only way we're going to triumph over the devil, try and bring bad things into this world, is by the blood of the Lamb. You can't overcome it without the blood of the Lamb. You have no power in the spiritual realm without the blood of the Lamb. That's where we get our spiritual power. And the word of our testimony. Remaining faithful to Jesus throughout everything. And then there's another, there's more to this verse that says, They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. Like, I'm not sure... You could say that about me, right? Like, I, you don't know that until you've been tested in that way, but they didn't love their lives. They loved Jesus so much that they laid down their life for Jesus. And by the power of Jesus, we have freedom to worship and the freedom to have boldness no matter where we go. And then it says, therefore rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. We, this morning, are going to rejoice in the heavens. So would you stand with me as we pray and look to enter into the presence of God. Lord, we thank you for your goodness and your kindness and your amazing sacrifice. We thank you for the blood of the Lamb. That is Jesus Christ dying on the cross. We thank you so much for that, that uh, the cross meant to kill is our victory. May we know the power of the cross. May we worship in the power of the cross and of the resurrection this morning. We love you and thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.